this is Gali Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling patient because today our quote of the day is, To lose patience is to lose the battle by Mohatma Gandhi. We all know that stress, regret, and anger don't help anything. In fact, in the Bible it says, hot tempers cause arguments, but patience brings peace. No one is powerful enough to stop time or to slow it down, but we can make the most of time. And the only way to do this is through patience. Success and all things that are worthwhile in life are our adventures in life, and they take time to accomplish. And they will only be accomplished through persistent effort, some sacrifice, and patience. A patient person has time on their side. Time is the most powerful force of the universe and it is there working for the patient person. The person who hurries and is stressed is always lacking in this powerful force. Whereas the patient person is never desperate because they have time on their side. They use time to help them achieve their dreams. They understand that everything takes time and that being impatient is a major weakness. Impatience takes into consideration only what is here and now and does not look forward towards the future. Patience on your way to a better tomorrow. Patience provides hope and thus provides a light at the end of the tunnel. Every farmer knows the power of patience and, it u and uses it to their advantage. All hard work in the right direction is rewarded in the end if the, patient, if the person is patient enough to receive the rewards. Oftentimes we do not completely understand the meaning of things, but only with time can we understand them. Now in our era, we all want instant gratification. I understand it and we expect to get things without waiting. And although technology has improved so much to allow us to get many, many things immediately, there are still things that need patience and can never come or last without patience and time. Things that have to do with the body, with relationships, with goals, with health, all take patience, sacrifice, and effort. There is no fast forward button. In, in life, time shows us that there is actually something of benefit in everything. We may not see it the moment that the situation is happening, but if we are patient enough, we will definitely find the good in everything. We, we will definitely see that there was good in everything. You really get closer to your goals every day that passes. And when you have the patience, no matter how many days or years it takes, you will be there in the end and win in the end if you are patient enough. Everything great that you want to achieve in life will take time. And you get time on your side when you have patience. When you learn how to delay gratification, your life will also be happier. The best way to learn to delay gratification is through practice. Instead of ordering for same-day delivery, order through the normal delivery system that takes more time. And once you will get your package or whatever you ordered, you will be happier than if you got it the same day. Really, research does show this, that when we wait for things, we are happier in the long run. You can't make plants grow faster than they grow. You can't bake a cake faster than it needs, and you can't build muscle or lose weight or run a marathon or reach a goal faster than you need. Patience is the key, and the best way to cultivate patience is to get used to waiting for things and also to release all of the pressure for wanting something to happen fast and now. Everything is on its way, and it will reach you at the right time. Have patience. When you learn to finish a task before starting another project, you know that you have mastered patience. This is very, very difficult for most entrepreneurs, including myself, but I know that when I, when I finish one project at a time, then I have, I have patience, I've received my reward, and then I'm a different person where I can start the new project from that place. Many people multitask, and that's a nice thing to do, to have a varied life and a very interesting life. And, and I, I, I think that it is good to multitask, but the key 
is not to multitask in one specific area of your life. You can multitask between the specific areas, the different areas of your life, but not in each specific area. Now, what exactly do I mean by this? Well, let's look at the specific areas of our life, including career and work, relationships, health, friends and family, contribution, your home. So to add spark to your life, I do recommend multitasking between all of these all of the time. Make sure you're putting effort into each of these categories in your life. But for each specific area of your life, focus on one thing and make it work with time and patience and consistent effort. When you get scattered, you will not be able to achieve greatness in that field of life. And, that, and you want to be happy, you have to have all of your areas in life working together at, and being at your best. So focus on one career goal at a time until you have achieved it. Focus on one partner. Focus on one sport or one way to contribute. At home, you want to focus on one task until you complete it. So when you find the patience to follow through with something to completion, you will have learned one of the most valuable habits there is to success, which is patience. No sane country would go to war unless they were prepared or unless they were attacked. But if they could prepare themselves, they would, and they would have the patience to go after their goals only when they were ready. If you train for a marathon or Ironman, you will not go to the competition if you're not ready. You would patiently train, put in the hard work and sacrifice to achieve your goals, and then you would go to the competition after you were ready. Patience is the key to success, without which nothing of major value can come out. The longer you put in consistent effort in the right direction, the better your chances to achieve your goal grow simply by the law of averages. Now, patience is always worth read and go slowly. This is the perfect use of patience. When I was interviewing Dr. Phil, he said, how do you eat an elephant? You eat it one bite at a time. And this is exactly the best way to go about anything that seems difficult or complicated. With patience, you take one step at a time and make small um, increments towards your goal. If you want to maintain an exercise routine, you have to start with small steps or else it will overwhelm you. You may find the energy one day and say, today I'm starting an exercise routine and then walk for an hour, go and lift some weights and then go for a swim. And after doing this for two days, you will feel exhausted both in your mind and in your body and you will not continue most probably. On the other hand, if you decide to, to start with small steps like 15 minute walk, one day and then you slowly raise it to 20 minutes and then 30 minutes and then do a little bit of weights on some days, then you may even enjoy uh, exercise. You will learn to enjoy it and you will start to do what you will want to do it every single day. When you have the patience to do things in their own time, then you will not only have achieved much, but you will also be much happier. Patience is of major importance for success. Anything worth having takes time and effort, and you must have patience to reach any of your goals. Anyone can learn to become more patient through practice and through consistent effort over time. Patience will help you improve and, and better enjoy all areas of your life. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where in my life do I need to practice more patience, to have more hope, and to have a longer-term vision? Think about this question. Put your answer, and when you find out which areas, then go to work on, on practicing patience and slowly letting things happen at their own pace. So, this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions and to finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I trust that everything will happen in its own right time. I trust that everything will happen in its own right time. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life if you repeat it in many enough times. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if you want to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. 
And please also visit my website if you want to advance your uh, health and wellness goals. Thank you very much for joining.